hello there, everybody, and welcome back to some more Alexa's Ultra Modded Isaac. Today, we got ourselves a little fun episode incoming. We're going to be checking out a new character in the series. This is Andromeda, uh, a character that released uh, like a month-ish ago. Um, it, it was actually... It's close to a month. It was mid-January when it was uh, launched, but this is a mod by Hybrid. Um, you may know Hybrid from the Mastema mod that we have played a lot of in our time. Um, Hybrid has a, has a new mod, Andromeda. It's a new character and tainted character. 28 unlocks as well, similar to how Mastema was. Uh, so a ton of content inherent in here. Um, also, Warham 2000 worked on this uh, with Hybrid. I've heard a lot of really good things about the character. I've heard they are hard, um, so it may be a little bit of a, a spicy episode today. Uh, but it's a character that revolves around planetariums. Um, and we're apparently going to get a lot of planetariums on this run. Um, he also starts with an item called Gravity Shift, which stops all tiers and projectiles in mid-air. Um, not really sure about that. And it also says it's Andromeda's ticket to more planetariums. All you need to do is shift reality in the right place. I don't know what that means. Shift is in italics, so maybe we have to like press shift somewhere. Uh, I got no clue, but we're gonna we're gonna check it out uh, and see where life takes us. Let's move over to our dang old wheel. We got some new art for the series from our boy Sari and that. Uh, I'll have his Twitter linked in the description down below, so you guys can go check him out. Let's spin our wheel. Um, let's be real. It's gonna say um, play as Tainted Mastema because it always does. Uh, just kidding. We have to have 99 coins at the end of the run. That is not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy, but we will do our best uh, to make it happen. So we will try. Let's hop in as Andromeda and get this show on the road. Wow, he looks actually stunning. <laughs> He looks stunning. Oh, okay. And we do a little shoot. It's, it's, oh God, this is like fricked up tiny planet. And then I can release and they all start orbiting. Okay. Okay, dude. I see you. Um, I love that design on gravity shift as well. That's kind of funky. Here's your seed. Three BKN, three Brooklyn. Dan, dan, dan. JK83. That's good enough for me. Uh, let's, let's do this. We also do start with friendship bracelet smelted and also telescope lens smelted. So we're going to have a higher chance of planetariums to begin with. Um, we got stink bug here, blue spiders and flies inflict poison on enemies. Very interesting indeed. Dude, I love the art on this guy. It's got that kind of, uh, you know, galaxy, galaxy look and feel. It's like, have you ever seen those like galaxy cakes where there's, um, like a funky design. Uh, okay, there's a weird web around my feet. <laughs> let, let me guess. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, but this is this is bad. I mean, it's, it's not bad, actually. I guess it's okay. Because um, Crack Crown's pretty good. So, we, we gravity shift inside of item rooms to get a free planetarium. Is that the, the vibe? We obviously take Crack Crown, that's pretty good. It did nothing for us? Are you freaking kidding me? It did nothing for us. Um... <laughs> really? <laughs> you just, like, Crack Crown do, do nothing now, huh? Wait a minute, this is a brand new uh, Crack Crown. What? I'm so confused. Okay, so some mod changed Crack Crown. So now Cracked Crown is... Uh, your stat increases of your items are 20% more effective. That's wacky. I mean, we're definitely going to take that. That is, like, super wacky. That is not what it used to be, right? I'm not losing my... Oh, dude, we also don't get the item. It got rid of the item. Okay. You know what? I, I fully understand. I fully understand. So you take the risk of possibly getting a, a planetarium. Minus 10% fire delay. Kills our speed, but a tier is up scaling with how much I move. I think that will probably be okay with this character. Um, I mean, dude, this is this is a, a sizable rate of fire increase. Are, are you kind of seeing this as, as we... It'll reset at the end of each room, but we... And it'll maintain 
Okay, I do. This is a good item. This is a good item. Sorry, my brain is is breaking into pieces as we start this one. Uh, probably because my tears are circling around my head, like I'm, you know, a literal planetary being. Um, I'm not fast enough to get out of the way of those. Uh, that fire, I was definitely fast enough to get out of the way of. But we're down to one heart already. We're we're down to one heart. Uh, it doesn't help at all, I'm gonna tell you, that our our way of dealing damage is via uh, some jacked up shots. It is difficult. It is difficult. Okay, funky shop. <laughs> not not high on my list of shops to, to mess around with. Let's go get our secret room, which is presumably going to be right here. If it's not, I'll cry. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. As a one-time use bomba, would have loved if that just gave me magic mush. <laughs> but that's that's probably asking for a lot, dude. I haven't actually used gravity shift in a room yet. Okay, hold on. Let's let's see. Does it work on my own tiers? So if I do this, and then I gravity shift, they all just start falling. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I I don't. Maybe it's because my brain is uh like ridiculously small. Like, they, they did a scan of my brain once, uh, and the doctor straight up said, we don't even know how you're, uh, how you're functioning. It's so tiny. Um, so it might be because my brain's pretty small, but I have no idea how this actually helps <laughs> at all on our run. I suppose maybe you do something like that, right? And then he runs into the shots. Is that kind of the, the play? So, you know, you get him... You get him kind of walking near you, and then you hit him with the gravity shift. He runs into all of them, takes a bunch of damage. It, it seems, like, kind of horrible. <laughs> it seems kind of horrible, but it is our ticket to more planetariums, um, where we can get a trinket that doesn't really do anything for me unless I take other items. Um, okay. I understand. I understand. It, the character looks like it may be a little bit of a struggle. Okay, so this is a plus 0.75 damage up, but it should be even more. And a speed up, which is, is actually very good. Yeah, dude. Honestly, we take it. <laughs> we take it. I think I think we're happy with this. I think we're happy with this. Let, let's just uh let's just roll. You know what? I'll I'll even I'll be that guy. You want to be that guy? I'll be that guy along with you. My super secret room is is imminent. It's right here. Okay, are you... Are you joking me? Did I not pick up those bombs? <laughs> Am I losing my mind? I did not pick up those bombs. I swear to God I picked up those bombs. Okay. Super secret room. Let's, let's eke out as much benefit as possible from this floor before we move on here. Um, I'm perfectly content spending a little bit to make a little bit unfortunately i'm gonna spend nothing and and i'm gonna spend one make nothing because that was completely worthless we'll go down to the next floor and we'll see what happens so should we be popping gravity shifts in our item rooms at all times forever the answer is like almost certainly why would we right if the item is good then don't gravity shift right do we like larynx here i'm gonna tell you not really <laughs> not really it could, i mean it could be anything inside of the planetarium it could even be uh like aries and then uh, like how are you gonna get me now huh uh, i'll have one of the worst items in the game i don't think the larynx is that good though so i'm i'm gonna do this you better really give me something solid out of this or i'm gonna be pissed Whew, okay, deep breaths, deep breaths. Let's let's continue. So it's it's not a guaranteed item by any stretch of the imagination. Um, in fact, I would even argue that it's a pretty low chance of an item unless I am just absurdly unlucky um, and manage to not get an item twice in a row. Uh, but seems seems like it may be a little bit little bit difficult to get a sweet planetarium item uh, out of our Andromeda planetariums. Keep in mind, we, we will still get probably a planetarium just in general on this run because we do have telescope lens, 15% chance. That alone puts us at like, I don't know, it's gonna be like a 70, 
probably about 70% chance of seeing a planetarium on this run, regardless of if we skip any item rooms or anything like that. You got me. Fair enough. Dude, it's just the, the controlling these tiers. I'm used to Tiny Planet. This is not Tiny Planet. This is a, a very, very different beast, um, and they move a heck of a lot differently. I don't know if the move is to treat them like orbitals and, and, and get, like, really close <laughs> to the enemy, um, or if you treat it like Tiny Planet and just, you know, suck up the fact that you're going to have to learn how the heck to use this item. Um, and I think... Unfortunately, that sucks. Uh, I think, unfortunately, I just have to learn how to use it, such as in this room right here, because I can't really decide to just, like, ram my body into an explosive enemy. Um, seems like a really good way to frickin' die. Come on, you, you're gonna get toasted, man. You're gonna get toasted. These are gonna explode. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm prepared. No damage taken, no damage dealt. And thus, a happy day for me. We could gravity shift these guys if things got a little spicy, but all of a sudden, I, I feel okay. I, I'm just not necessarily... I, I don't know when to use gravity shift. I think it's a defensive item, not an offensive item. But maybe it's offensive, because we saw... I mean, this is another situation right here, right? Where you... <laughs> using it offensively, theoretically, he would have ran into those. Um, done some damage. It was the theoretically part of that that I wanted to focus fire on. He did not actually do it, in case you were not watching. Uh, just listening in the background, you know? He, he, he walked right past it. Um, so... But in, in the perfect world, I think that's... That's the offensive use. But I suppose there's also like a defensive use. Imagine you're in the Hush fight, right? Um, and Hush starts spamming a bunch of projectiles. You just you just get out of the way by popping a little um popping a little gravity shift on it. Why did I walk in here? I'm why would I ever walk in here? It's just a horrible play to walk in here. <laughs> I suppose now I can look at what these items are, but um, I can't. I can't take you, so I ruined my chance at the 100% angel deal, dude. I'm gonna get you. You want to get a little freaky on this run with me? I'm about to be the damn uh, puppet inside of a ventriloquist shop, where when you ask the man behind the counter, "Hey, how much is that puppet?" Uh, the puppet talks back to you instead, and then the man like runs out of the room because he looks like he's been uh, cursed by the devil because he's the ventriloquist, but he didn't actually say it. And then, you know, the Twilight Zone theme rolls. You know what I'm talking about. If you don't, uh, how about you just, like, get cultured, stupid? Uh, let's put a bomb down. God, I, I hate this as the secret room. Yeah, I, I agree. I hate that as the secret room. I have keys, man. I'm gonna try. Okay, good talk. See you later. Uh, let's get out of this floor. This floor was, like, actually ass. <laughs> it was actually ass. There was no... No real benefit that came out of this one. Um, so we'll go down to the next floor. We will end up with the ability to get an additional boss item. Um, hopefully our, our stat increases from our cracked crown are going to continue to do at least some okay stuff for us on this one see where where life takes us but overall i mean i'm having a good time with andromeda it's an interesting character um interesting way to shoot tears i'm always looking for you know give me give me a funky way to fire give me a funky way to deal damage god knows this this do be a little funky right it's a little funky um i'm excited for possibly when we start pairing some some halfway decent Plant, that's so lucky. Halfway decent planetarium items into uh, this run. You know, perhaps something like Saturnus, I'm, I'm thinking, could actually be good for us. This is also pretty good. Um, okay, let, let's take it for now with the intention of, you know, we walk into the item room and then we're going to be able to see what a heck the item is. Um... 50% chance to see what a heck the item is, um, but then we would know whether or not it's a solid choice for uh, our our 
blind, blind gravity shift. That's the word. I don't know why blind shift was in my head there. Um, totally respectable to call it the blind shift because you know what? Andromeda's got three eyes, which would mean he's less blind than usual, actually. Okay, um, we did not get Jack Dilly Squat, and I'm going to tell you right now, Vegemite does not look like it's it, dude. It's a one-room charge. Shoot a trail of creep. Come on. I will I will go and get weird. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm in. I'm in. This is likely a horrible idea. Um, it has increased our range by an ungodly amount, which is kind of expected. We also do get all stats up now from moving because of... I should not have used the key there because there's... I don't think there's anything in here, right? No, there's not. Um, but all stats up from moving is interesting. I mean, that that's actually an interesting uh, little bonus on this run. But let's use a little Bomba to get in here. Fool, fool. You're the damn fool, to be honest with you. Or I'm the damn fool. Oh, you're going to do this early and often during this uh, series, huh? little broken die action. Rerolling pedestal items and pickups in the room, but giving me a broken heart when I use it. It's a brilliant item, man. I mean, it's actually... I'm just going to be real with you. It's a completely busted, stupid, idiotic item. Um, and I have never been more happy in my life to see it right now. It's so good. It's so good. You, you It's basically a free reroll every single floor, right? Also, I'm realizing that Cracked Eye is, or Cracked Crown is also like retroactive. So it'll, every stat upgrade we have received, it will give us the stat increase for it. This would be a brilliant run to get Rock Bottom on. Um, I'm, I'm realizing that very heavily because of our rate of fire increase upon moving. We would just get that rate of fire increase, which with Libra is permanent stat upgrade all the time. So there, we have a path to success. You just need Rock Bottom, uh, one of the rarest items in the game. Death Certificate, one of the rarest items in the game. Uh, or, um, yeah, so that that's about it. <laughs> That's about it. Sacred Heart out of our Angel deal that we probably won't get right here would also be cool. Like, that uh, that would definitely give me a, a fun vibe. Even Godhead would be more fun because all of the tears floating around us would be, uh, would be cranking that, that sweet little, sweet little nothings in my ear, right? I would like that. It would be good. It would be very good. You did not get your Angel deal. I can't even walk in that room, so I'm not going to. Isaac's first trinket, gain tears, spawns a trinket that gives you five luck while held. Show me the money. Make it amazing. That's not what we want to see. Does the luck upgrade split itself? It does not. I'm going to tell you right now, dude. You got to keep Crack Crown. Crack, crack Crown is one of, those, uh, one of those items that you just got to you gotta suck up and realize you have to use it here. What in the hell is this? Amalgam counts towards every transformation. That's actually a, a pretty good thing to have. You also got black card, buy items without money, but you get a stats down for pennies owed. Little, little wonky. Every third shop item on the current floor will cost one penny. Buying two items with hearts in one room makes all other items free. There's a lot to unpack here. I'm not going to lie. There's also a double... What, maybe is a black heart so that that holds value for me um we'll be back in here i i think there's definitely some some utility in that room but i would like to go this way first i'm a little i'm gonna tell you i'm a little afraid about this this land that exists in here um i don't think that our run is really very good at all um so i'm i'm iffy about clearing rooms especially now that i have been hit i i don't love the idea of being alive in this area <laughs> do i care about the knife piece we could re-roll it man right or i could see if i can use gravity shift in the mirror dimension now that's an idea right no no way this breaks the game right you cannot use it fair enough i'm gonna re-roll this once yoink 
Stargazer's hat summons the Stargazer beggar. Can only be charged with soul hearts similar to Alabaster Box. I do not know who the Stargazer beggar is. So that's that's awkward. Um, but it would use up my broken dice, so no. Old Relic, while walking, creates stomps. Stomps fill gaps and stomps damage enemies. I'm gonna tell you. Oh, the, the sound effect was incredible. I actually think this is a good thing to have because it's essentially flight for us in a weird sort of sort of way. Um, and that that could be valuable for the nearby future. You know, and now we got petrified poop, so we can do a little bit of min-maxing here. That was extremely too close for comfort. Um Poop's going to give us a little bit more money, and we now have the money to do some stuff in our shop that I would like to do. So, ouch. Dude, I'm, I'm actually, like, genuinely... I'm genuinely a little bit worried about this boss fight. I think we may be using a couple of bombs in here to make this one work. I apologize profusely. I know you're you're like, what the hell do we even pay you for? Using bombs during a boss fight? What the hell is this? And, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm as disappointed as you are, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I will also say, rooms that rain in this mod pack bring the frame rate to about four. Um, so stay away if you're playing alongside the pack. Beautiful, you love to see that. Um, if you're playing alongside the pack, you can you can download it linked in the description down below. Um, be forewarned that you might get a little lag spike in rooms with rain. So, other than that, I mean, it's actually pretty stable. I, besides the crashes that have occurred, <laughs> it's been pretty stable. Um, not really actually a great sign when you say it like that. Uh, but it's fine, right? It's fine, come on. Is, is is good is very good um hey hope you guys are having a good day today we're gonna get to the question of the day shortly uh, i just you know new character i wanted to figure out um really where my life was before we got going heavily here um hope you're having a good day i'm having an okay day it's, it's a monday so like come on everybody hates mondays uh except for doesn't Garfield, like, hate Tuesdays or something? Or maybe he hates Mondays, and now I'm just, like, massively forgetting something. In, like, the worst way, too. Because uh, why would I forget something so simple, right? Seems kind of dumb. I want to do something stupid, by the way. Um, this is a, a big old, like, do not recommend on this one. Uh, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to the boss trap room. Gonna kill off two of my hearts that I, I probably desperately need to survive. Um, but it's free. So if it's free, it's for me. We're gonna go for it. Uh, it's like totally worth it. It's totally worth it. Adios, goodbye. Stats are now like genuinely kind of kind of spicy. They're kind of spicy. Plus with the, you know, increase of stats every time we hold the fire button and walk around. It's kind of hard to be upset with them. Um, I am going to take this soul heart harms you but payoff doubled it's a damn like regular red heart <sighs> hate that we'll take amalgam um we'll take whatever this every third item is somewhat free uh and then i think yeah i think you just go now but i am gonna do this because i think that it's actually probably more beneficial for our run to be in this form don't care about the trinket we go down so i go down and we get rid of one of our um one of our rotten hearts we we don't like the rotten heart well it's not rotten it's a cursed heart cracked heart broken heart whatever you want to word it it's all the same damn thing man and you can't tell me otherwise it's 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 all good it's all good it's all spicy also these stomps do not happen all the time i thought they were going to happen all the time they do not happen all the time but we're, we're still gonna get some good value out of them i'm 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 pleased i'm pleased the run's not bad in in terms of getting an andromeda run to a state that is uh you know somewhat somewhat functional i would argue that things are going pretty okay give me the pill relax relax ba do ba Boom ba dum ba dum boom ba poo poo doo. 
I'm going to bomb here, actually. I think the Keeper Sack is uh, a huge benefit for this run. So, I'm, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it yet, because I don't have the money to buy it, but I am going to buy it. Um, it's basically an all-stats-up every time we buy anything from the shop, regardless of price. Um, so tell me, look me in the eye, my sweet little eyes, and tell me how uh, that could be bad. That's right, you can't, uh, cause my eyes aren't on the screen. Ha! <laughs> this is called the misdirection. This is a comedy class, by the way. Um, and the lesson today is, um, why not to listen to your professor, as you will never be funny. <laughs> alright, alright, we have fun here, we have fun here. Give me this. Let's do our question of the day, uh, which I, I just got to pull up on the other monitor here. Question of the day comes from Diffle, our good friend Diffle. And Diffle asks, if you could only eat one type of food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, and he, he clarifies that one type of food would be, example, meat, veggies, fish, etc. So before we can answer this properly, let's, let's maybe figure out um, what else fits in there right so you got meat fish veggies you would also you know have to I'm, I'm just basically scrolling down the food pyramid right you gotta include fruit in there you also probably have to include like a, a grains in there you know like rice pasta um may maybe beans fit into there? Do beans fit in there? I don't know. What is a bean exactly? You still grow beans or plant beans. So are they a vegetable? It's hard to tell. Um, I don't think a bean is a vegetable though. At least I, I would not guess that it is. I also want to, you know, it's kind of tough because you, you struggle to think that maybe dessert would count as a category here. Um, I think it does for the record like i do think dessert is a category this is nice just don't eat all my keys yeah dude look at this we're okay with this foiled lovers gives us um three to four hearts of any type lovers. love that for us thank you uh we have the soul of job turns up to three broken hearts into full red hearts this could crash the game i'm like a hundred percent confident so we get to reroll the hell out of a uh item in a item room that's what this means and boy am i freaking excited to do it but i think dessert qualifies as a type of food um not that i would ever choose dessert as the one thing i'm eating for the rest of my life that would be like quite literally psychotic um but i, I don't think you can do just like fats i mean maybe you can maybe you love taking a stick of butter out of the fridge and then just just go into town on that son of a gun um, until there ain't no butter left in the packaging. Maybe that's your kind of vibe. I'm going to tell you, that sounds actually horrible. Also, say hello to our plan of Terrium, which I could re-roll the hell out of. Oh, now we're getting spicy. Okay, I want both, unfortunately. Also, who the hell are you and why are you a stargazer? What do you do? I don't, I don't know what you do, man. I don't know what you do. I can touch you. <laughs> I can touch you. I can stomp you. Dude, I want Saturnus. Just, I'm just being real with you. Look at this. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm about to hypnotize everybody watching this damn video. This looks amazing. Stomp, please. Thank you. And I'm not talking about the, the drum band. Okay, what a horrible situation there. I'll come in here because I'm not afraid. Guppy's eye. I do not have any guppy items. Just kidding. I have amalgam. Dude, I'm going to be real. Because I have amalgam, you got to take it. You, please, for the love of God, give me something to reroll, though. Because I'm I'm going to cry. Like, I'm going to cry if I don't have something to reroll. I get to use my, my broken hearts. That said, let's, let's just take a quick, quick little pause action here. Why the hell wouldn't I just hold on to it until I hopefully inevitably get an angel deal? Right? Because if I do that, hello. I love this idea. Except just kidding, I don't. Um, because I can't I can't carry it 
down to the next floor. I need my broken dice. I need my broken dice. So, I mean, this is so simplistic, right? I'm dumb because I picked up the item. <laughs> All right, very good. Very good. You love to see it. Um, piss poor play from me. Let's... Let's do something. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I love the amount of shots we have for one. I want to try something. I don't know why there's there's a little birdie in my brain. Dude, it looks like I have flight. It really does. Um, There's a little birdie in my brain that's saying, let's give the star's card to the stargazer? Question mark. Do you think that it does something? I got no clue. There's already a beggar that collects cards in this game, though. Okay, no. I have no idea what you do. <laughs> I I wish I did. Can we, like, encyclopedia, find in room? Okay, good talk. Um, Characters? No, 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 no. Dude, I have no idea who you are. I don't know who you are. Can I bomb you? Okay, well... Feels bad a little bit. <laughs> but... You know what? Life goes on. Life goes on and on and on. And then on and on and on. Blam, 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 blam. Okay. Um, let's buy some stuff because we get stat upgrades. I'll buy you. Everything's worth one. One cent sack. Don't let me be the one to stop you. Um, probably should have like re-rolled that coin a bunch. Perhaps, perchance. Uh, but that's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna still snag our tainted soul of Job, and then we're just gonna get the hell out of here, I think. There, there is a world in which we could get into an angel deal and then re-roll the hell out of it to get, um, Sacred Heart or Godhead. I think, I think the plan exists. I'm broken. How am I gonna place this bomb and get out of the way without moving the bomb? The answer is just like that. Okay. We can also force the angel deal to occur by possibly playing a sacrifice room. I think that that is terrifying um, as a character with regular HP. But I'm definitely willing to give it a nice college try and see what happens. Back to our food types. I don't think you're chowing down on a stick of butter. I think we've covered pretty much what every food type is. So what, what am I choosing as my food type to eat for the rest of my life? I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm I'm just I'm just gonna be perfectly honest with you. There without getting controversial, I think there's a, a literal correct answer. <laughs> and I'm I'm open to you arguing with me, but if there are no consequences for your actions, meaning that you can literally eat whatever you want and nothing will happen, right? Then this is a completely different story. But that can't be what the situ is. situation is. Ravenbeak is an active item. I will not take it. Uh, so I will gravity shift and then we're going to get a little spicy. Then we're going to get a little spicy. Reroll. What? Uh, you know what, dude? We, we take this. We take this. Reveals the location of the ultra secret room, and then any trinket left in a boss or treasure room turns into a crack key. There, there's no reason not to do that, right? Because we, we basically just get another free item every floor. Because if you find at least one trinket or can buy one trinket, which then also gives us stat upgrades, so it's, it's kind of just a win-win. Um, if you can just find one, then you get another free item. They're not all good in the Ultra Secret Room anymore, but who cares, right? That's fine. Give me the pill. Bombs are key. That's fine. Give me another key. <laughs> oh, and then give me a one cent something here in a couple of seconds. And there's the Ultra Secret Room on the map. Would you look at that? Okay. Our damage is starting to get kind of good, too. You know, 5.85, pretty decent rate of fire. Um, it's all relative with our whack job way that we fire, but it's it's kind of a nice uh, nice little damage boost that we get here and there. I would have liked a, a penny if you were being truthful with me. Um, let's fight the boss. We're, we're like hoping and praying that that 18% chance of an angel deal 
comes extraordinarily true in this situation. Um, I still think that the odds of this are pretty low. This guy is also, uh, he's stuck in a cycle that he can't seem to figure out. Um, I feel sorry for him because, I mean, this will lead to his inevitable death. Okay, he's finally done something other than the same attack. Uh, and it's a little bit too late because he's dead. Okay. Say hello to our angel deal. Say hello to a holy card. That's not what I wanted you to say hello to. Say hello to duality, which we don't care about. Um, because the dream is imminent. In case you were at all concerned, the dream is imminent. We will be re-rolling the key piece and this guy a disturbing amount of times <laughs> to get ourselves some good stuff. I'm now realizing... Yeah, no, this is correct. Reroll. Pascal Candle's spicy. The problem with Pascal Candle is... I'm still looking for rock bottom on this run, and it don't exist. <laughs> it don't exist. I reroll. There's Godhead. I'll take that one. Tainted Job's family. I'm just going to be real with you. It's a no from me. Beams of light fall from the sky upon taking damage. I'm going to tell you right now. It's a no from me. Star of Bethlehem. Dude. It's good. Okay. It is good. But like how sick would it be if Sacred Heart was right here? Okay. Fair enough. I'll give you one more. Upgrade every normal familiars to super. One more won't hurt, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Now we have Seraphim. Now we pop Soul of Job, which just gives us three hearts back. That's amazing. Um, and then, dude, I mean, this is going to be gross, right? This is going to be gross. Because now we just... um walk into room upon walk into room you fire shots that the godhead beams i mean it's gonna just spiral around us it looks pretty good to me i like it uh and then we can also get our ultra secret room like absurdly easily by just dropping judas's tongue in this room um get dropped become a red key thank you and then i'll walk in here real right quick um pop into here real right quick i'll bomb this real right quick as well i was really hoping for one penny like just one penny it's the d6 <laughs> it's the d6 dude i will not take the d6 i'll re-roll it and also the f the stuff in the room i can't even pick that up um dude get weird get weird again he's he's a true idiot there's the leviathan transformation this is all because of amalgam by the way uh in case you were trying to figure out how we're getting all of these transformations um that's amalgam because we are uh essentially we only need two items for each transformation now so it's pretty good it's pretty good i'm i'm seeing what you're thinking which is tyler uh you got Effectively four hearts on the next floor three for a while until you find a soul heart. I understand that I do You don't need to explain it. Um, I'm I'm under the impression that I'm going to win this run uh, And that's why I'm playing a little bit loosey-goosey, but imagine you me. I will be sure to um, Get a sweet victory royale. Yeah, Alexa, we about to get down get down. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it Plus we got freaking depression <laughs> in this room not in real life at least not right now um we take it man i actually don't mind depression as an item in this game have to really continue to be very diligent about how we word that um what is the the food group i'm going to choose it's it's really simple it's really simple i will take vegetables every day of the week um look one there's no other food group that if you only ate them um, you would not die in like a week or so. You might last a little bit longer, but I mean, I'm, you'll last a lot longer. There's people who are literally living on like Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Uh, they're called Twitch streamers. <laughs> oh, hey -oh. 
It's a self-roast because I'm also one, um, but you, you get what I'm saying, right? Uh, but, like, you need vegetables to, to survive. If you only had a diet of meat, you're missing out on, like, half of the nutrients that you have. Um, same with fish. Plus, I'm just going to be real with you, eating that much fish, that's, like, making my stomach hurt a little bit to eat fish for every meal of the day. Like, imagine you sit down for breakfast and it's fish. <laughs> sit down for lunch, there's some more fish. Sit down for dinner, fish. Sitting on the couch, watching the Great British Bake Off at 10 o'clock at night every night. Need a quick snack, go into the fridge, fish stick. <laughs> it just, it doesn't work, right? It doesn't work. What is this? Universe. Floors will start with a universe room where you can choose the floor variant. I mean, that sounds dope as hell. Um, and I would like to do that. However, I do not have um, the money to go about doing that at the current moment in time. I'm going to put a bomb right here and then cry. Thanks for actually opening it. Thank you for not crashing as well because you could tell it really wanted to. It really wanted to. Okay. We need a trinket, so I will open this. I will go into my item room. Thank you, thank you. We're going to drop this son of a gun real quick. Bless B, crack key, uh, rhyming accidentally. And then we uh, will go and use this crack key to get into our ultra secret room. And then this is going to give me brimstone. And then I'm going to be confused. It, it actually kind of gave me brimstone, to be fair. Um, I also just like glass eye here. I just want to see what it does, man. Like, there is there a synergy here? There, there is. Kind of. So it spawns a portal. So it's kind of like anti-grav brimstone but then also tiny planet at the same time anti-grav tiny planet brimstone that's a lot to unpack i'll do it once fettered heart enemies may spawn fettered they share damage taken that's fine um we really should like not we should really like not use the die anymore <laughs> just like don't use it and then maybe we won't you know perish on this run that sounds like a good way to think about things uh give me my secret room give me a lot of money please if that's okay with you we will play the crap out of this uh chest here for the hopes of gaining a little bit of moolah so far so good you just gotta crank me uh all the way man there's nothing in there i should have known Guppy's eye would not fail me. There was nothing in there. But I'm taking vegetables. Uh, for one, I like vegetables. I think that they are delicious. Um, you can give them to me raw. You can give them to me cooked. You can give them to me roasted. You can give them to me uh, pan fried. You can give them to me a lot of different ways. I'm going to be perfectly happy eating them. Um, am I missing out on a little bit of protein to eat them every day for the rest of my life? The answer is yes, you know. There, there is a, uh, a little bit of a negative, negative part of this for sure. But there's, you know, I'd rather live with a little bit of protein deficiency than uh, die by eating chocolate cake every day for every meal for the rest of my life, right? Um, so it's pretty easy decision here. I'll take vegetables. None of the other ones are even really that, that close to being an option I would choose. <laughs> Like, like, literally none of them strike my fancy here whatsoever. Um, it's just, it's just that easy. I'm trying to even think, there's not really many vegetables that I dislike. Like, if I'm, if I'm thinking, I don't like raw cauliflower, but that's also like, you know, if you don't like raw cauliflower, guess what? There's like... 800 other vegetables that you could consume instead of raw cauliflower and even if you make like if you just cook it i like it cooked <laughs> so just don't eat raw cauliflower everything will be okay um other than that i'm i'm gonna be real best guppy other than that i really can't think of i can't think of one i don't like 
I, I'm trying so hard, I promise you. I, I just like vegetables, man. People are gonna be mad at that answer, I feel. They're gonna be like, oh, well, I would choose dessert because um, imagine eating creme brulee every uh, meal for the rest of your life. And it'd be like, yeah, okay. You really want the feeling of creme brulee in your stomach? Coating your insides, that like gooey, rubbery uh, custard. Slow slothing? That's a word for sure. It's a new one. You've never heard of it. Look it up. Um, slothing down your throat all day long. You know that feeling that you get when you have um, certain foods? Yogurt is a big one, right? Where it just feels like the inside of your mouth is coated with like a, a really jacked up uh, film, right? That's... That's what eating creme brulee for the rest of your life would feel like. I even had earlier, I'm gonna tell you, I complained about this on Twitter as well. Um, dude, let's do it, let's get weird. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, let it be known that this is a bad idea, um, but I'm never one to really go down on a challenge, um, so we'll do it. <laughs> We'll do it. Let's let's take Damocles, and then we'll go down. And then this is two runs in a row with Damocles. So what could go wrong, right? Um, and I'm also a hit away from death. What could go wrong? We're we're having a good time. We're having a great time. I'm loving it. But I was complaining. I had a little bit of uh, almond butter, which I have never consumed in my life before. Uh, but. Anna enjoys it. I saw it in the cupboard. I just wanted some bread, so I figured, you know what? Let's let's have a little almond butter. And uh it's delicious, right? It's delicious. After I ate it, I felt like um my mouth was glued shut. <laughs> because it just leaves this like, you know, as you're you're consuming it, it just leaves this this residue inside of you that makes it feel like you you just took a giant thing of Gorilla Glue, you know, did the whole lean your head back, put it the bottle above your head, and then you just drizzled like the entire thing of Gorilla Glue into your mouth. That's kind of how I felt. And I, I didn't really like it. I'm going to tell you. There's Bookworm. Um, we could also like kill mom with, with this, um, which is an idea for sure. It would guarantee us winning that fight. Which I'm gonna be honest with you, I actually think that that is a reason enough to do it. You you may think that this is a little bit, you know, of a, of a cowardly play, and to that I say, you know what? I don't even really disagree. <laughs> I think it is a pretty cowardly play. But if you're trying to win a run, I would argue that this is uh, this is a wee bit intelligent. I would go so far as to call it intelligent. Okay. Thanks for the devil deal. Thanks for it being bad. Um, let's go get our cracked die back. Dude, I would love to have, I mean, like any heart right now. I'm pretty sure if I use cracked die, I die. <laughs> so we don't want to use cracked die in case you are all confused about why I would not want to die here. Um, so you're going to give me a red chest that has soul hearts in it. Okay, you're gonna give me a key, and then I'm gonna give the key to you, and then you're gonna give me a red chest, and that red chest, believe it or not, is going to have a soul heart in it. That's two pennies, believe it or not. I know that comes as a huge surprise to you. Honestly, Gifrict, I hate you. We're gonna kill you. Um, What is the next step? What is the next step? Um... Take back this so you don't forget it. I just, I would like to re-roll everything in that room. Because there's there's some books that are passive items in this pack. Um, and I wouldn't mind having them. I understand that the process we're going about here is a little bit, it's a little scary, right? There's a lot to unpack. There's also a wall mimic over here. So we can do a little one of those, and then we get to enter a weird secretive room, which is going to probably give me some soul hearts. You're going to give me some soul hearts. I know you don't know it yet, but you're going to give me a soul heart. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's just sad. Never mind. It's not sad. It's great. <laughs> okay, you gave me the soul hearts. 
Am I about to go into the curse room? Yeah. Because you gave me more soul hearts, that's why. Um, get me out of here. Okay. Now we can vibe. We're still living life a little bit uh, on edge. There's no doubt about that. Uh, we're gonna reroll. Yoink. Book of Genesis. Remove a random item. Spawn three items of the same quality. Let's do it. You did not remove Godhead. I took Sad Onion, apparently. How the hell did that happen? Um, I don't know what's going on, to be honest with you. Um, they're all going to... Okay, yeah. Book of Genesis, they're all going to be... Yeah. So you take Book of Virtues, because now that's going to chill on top of it. I can pick up all these. It doesn't really matter, right? Yoink. Thanks. Don't care. Um, then... Oh, frick it, man. Do it one more time. Do it one more time. Uh, Book of Despair is so weird here. It's so weird. It's so good, though. I mean, like, it's actually so good. It's tainted Book of Despair as well. So we... We can pop this. We say goodbye to Broken Die, and honestly, we don't even... <laughs> Dude, we care, though. We're gonna be stuck at three health for the rest of the run. But do you see this? It's not even that good. Okay, never mind. Um, get get out of here. Take take this back. I ain't popping it again. You couldn't pay me to pop that again. We need the broken dice because it removes a cursed broken heart every floor. That's why you have to keep it. I apologize if you don't like my line of thinking. Um, I don't care. I go down. Uh, see you later. You're a damn clown. We're 51 minutes into this run. Um, I'm ready to scream. Okay. We also have not been hit yet. I don't think. So Damocles is still is still a happy boy. We we just have to make sure he remains a happy boy as long as possible. Um I do think that this run is pretty invincible, right? It's pretty invincible. I don't really see us dying anytime soon. Um we're we're getting hit anytime soon. But stranger things have happened. You should know, I saw the show for at least the first two seasons. Um, just kidding, I actually only watched the first season and then never finished it because I thought the second season was, like, horrible. And you're gonna be like, uh, Tyler, it was good. And I'm gonna go, ooh, that's crazy, it wasn't. Alright, what are you? Death card? Don't care. There's a, a white fireplace in there. A little bit of a, a strange thing to see here. We could become the lost. That would be actually intelligent wait a minute that would be actually intelligent but what if it's not actually the white fire that you can touch and do stuff and then i would get where'd he go where'd he go where'd he go where did he go oh it was just a ghost <laughs> i thought that little angel thing jumped up into the sky and then he was he was outy and i, I was afraid i was so afraid i was petrified and then the isaac shot a tear and then in my eyes was so ablaze but do it boo do it's you know it's i will survive you know this song but i it's too late in the day man it's after work i'm tired chocolate milk ain't it man right is it it no it it, it probably is not it um but i did it anyway I mean, the damage is going to be really good. <laughs> I, you know what, dude? Scratch cards still crash the game sometimes. I, I, I don't think... If it was early on the run, I'm in. But I don't think that my brain could take a crash right now. You you gotta you gotta cut me a little bit of slack. I'm I'm. We're we're 51 minutes in. It ain't it ain't scratch card time. Unlocked crying pebble. <laughs> He's done it. <laughs> All right, go down. This is good. We're, we're still alive. That's, that has to mean something, man. I've done something right. All right, don't die now. Toy shovel, chance to dig up a chest when used. Guess what? Give me a chest. You asshole. Um, pop this. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, we have Dam of Cleaves. What is this? Gives a bonus to stats that will decrease if the character takes damage. Uh, take it. We're not taking damage. Split shot sounds like it's gonna crash the game. 
Um, the intruder, I don't care about. So this is now a hot reroll everywhere. What's this uh, thingy? Ancient hourglass? No, 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 no. Teleports you to the starter room. Who cares? Let's do this. Schrodinger's Tears will quite literally destroy the game. It's, it's bad enough that this is the laggiest thing ever. Schrodinger's Tears will actually just... The, the game will explode. You're, you're seeing the explosion occur. Um, this was a bad idea. <laughs> this was a bad idea. It looks sick, don't get me wrong, but it was a bad idea. Magic fingers. Dude, I need to get to 99 coins at the end of this run. <laughs> How the hell am I going to do that? By re-rolling into the dollar. Purity is just brilliant for us. So that's an easy take. What's this Rubik's Cube? After each use, it has a 5% chance to be solved and be replaced with the magic cube item. You ready? First th first time, bang, it's solved. Just kidding. No, it's not. Um, don't care about either of these. I'll reroll again. You think I'm afraid? And then I'll take this, and then I'll, I'll do this. <laughs> and then I don't know what happens next. Then you live life really on the edge. Oh, God, man. And then you do it again. And then you make all of those electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie, woogie. And then, uh, I don't know. We don't really care about any of this. Suplex is obviously, like, funny, but I'm not going to do it. Um. Okay, it's time to go. I died. <laughs> and, and I think the game probably crashed. Um. <laughs> it's just... Is just frozen. I mean, it's just, it's just spinning bar, white screen, frozen. Um, ladies and gentlemen, let this be a, a small piece of advice to you. Don't take Schrodinger's tears, because this is what normally happens to the game when you take Schrodinger's Tears. Um, this was a lot of fun, though. I'm gonna, like, uh, close the game, and then I'm gonna try to reopen it and just see, like, what happens, right? Because there's a decent chance that I'm gonna have to spend, like, 45 minutes resetting my Isaac save now. Um, or it'll just, like, start me at the start of the floor, and then we'll be totally fine. That's what I hope happens, for the record. Um, because then I could just, like, not take any of the items that I took. That'd be cool. <laughs> Beat the chest real quick, get the achievements for Andromeda. That'd be sick, right? That'd be so cool. I would I would I would love to not lose the past 57 minutes of my life. Um okay, we're on the chest. Show me the money. You love to see it. Okay, you know what? Let's let's just be intelligent about this. We're gonna take this. What the heck? It's new items. We're gonna take this. Split shot probably was like half of the issue. I'm still gonna take that though, because it's fun. Um, do not take Schrodinger. I'll I'll take. I got no keys, man. What the guillotine is now in no man's land. We're we're fine with this. Just it's still really good, right? We don't need to get too too crazy. It's so <laughs> laggy, man. It's so laggy. It's so good, but it's so laggy. Um, <laughs> just. Just get to the finish line. Just get to the finish line. That's another wall mimic. I'm gonna tell you right now. If I can get a bomb up there, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> it'll be a miracle. We take the range upgrade. Okay. Do you think there's any world in which this bomb ever... Okay, dude, look at that. Don't care. <laughs> Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, you got crappy uh, trinkets in your room. Let's go kill the boss, please. I just really have to fire, like, two shots and then the entire room explodes. That's a damn Mario hat. 100 coins equals a 1-up. Okay. Question mark blocks can now re replace regular blocks and they give coins. This is our chance, dude. This is our chance to hit 100 coins. You, you never thought it would happen. And frankly, neither did I. But there is a universe in which we get 100 coins. It may take us another 20 minutes here um, because of... I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of like I'm, I'm working in Microsoft PowerPoint playing Isaac. Um, 
All right, you're doing great, kid. You're doing great. Reap creep. I mean, I'm just going to be real with you. Are there two pins in this room? There are. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Dude, I'm, I'm just going to shoot him off the screen. Did you see that? <laughs> My dude was outie. Uh, that is magic fingers. I do not need your magical fingers at this time, game. Maybe next time. That is flush. Gives you one step closer to the oh crap transformation, to be fair, um, since Amalgam is giving us one step of the way there. X-ray vision we don't care about. I could still re-roll some stuff, man. Which is is good, right? We, we do like the re-roll here. I mean, we might as well take this, right? It does a weird whipping thing. Um, I'm good with a weird whip. Watch me, watch me weird whip. And then you can watch me weird nay nay as well, if you desire. I'm hip with the kids. Not a boomer. Vasculitis. Absolutely not. Could not pay me to use that right now. Boy, that was satisfying. I enjoyed that a lot. What are you? Double tap shooting button to spew a line of rainbow creep. It's a no from me. I appreciate it. I also really should open these because you're going to find other items in them. So any chest that I refuse to open that you're probably now screaming at me, Tyler, Tyler, the run's not good enough. You need dice bombs. <laughs> Come on, man. We don't need dice bombs. I will pick this up, though. You, you think I'm afraid to pick that up? I also think that you're probably a pretty halfway decent thing to add to our run. We don't need more stuff, though. We're fine. Spawn an extra item in shops. Hilarious. We might as well reveal secret rooms, though. Thank you. Ah, uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Is more money. Is not nearly enough to get to 100. Dude, I think we gotta say goodbye to this pipe dream. Like, we, there's no freaking chance that we hit 100. We, we literally... I got hit. <laughs> I got hit and now Damocles is gonna drop and that's gonna be that, man. I'm outie. I'm outie. Send me to the boss. I need to go. Screw the challenge. I'll, I'll random next time. That's not a problem for me. I, I'm, I'm outie though. I ain't losing this run. No siree. This, this is a happy-go-lucky good time. If Damocles fell, I'm the unluckiest person on planet Earth. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Uh, you guys got some, some armor or something? What's your deal? You think you're cool? You think you're cool because, uh, you, you don't die in one hit? I've been hit again, man. Where's the dang boss? I'm gonna need to find you right now. Talk to the boss's manager, please. This is uh, Karen's ultra modded uh, Isaac. <laughs> I almost said Eden streaks. Sorry, I'm used to my series being uh, a certain way. Time to go, sir. It's time to go. There's no way that explodes in my face. Come on. Come on, just get in the room. I know, four FPS. We're, we're vibing, dude. We're vibing. Kill him. Spawn the chest. Come on, you could do it. You could do it. Spawn the chest. Get in the chest. We unlocked gravity shift. I read that as gravity something else. <laughs> get in the chest. <laughs> All right, that was fun. I had a good time today. Thanks so much for watching. As always, liking the video much appreciate. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.